So welcome back everyone, Mike here. Out in the woods this afternoon, gonna cut a little bit of firewood. I tried to uh, lighten up that brush pile I have back there, but was unsuccessful. Isn't that something? Different parts of the country, you know, just a spark can set this huge wildfire, burn thousands and thousands of acres. Around here this time of year, you can't even get one going with uh, diesel fuel and a leaf blower. But anyway, it's actually, I think it's going to start raining a little bit, so I'm not going to talk too much. I'm going to get to work and uh, try to get a load of firewood out of here before it gets too sloppy. The temperature's already around 35 degrees, something like that. It's been warming up all day. And man, there is two times that it's good to work in the woods around here, when it's dry and when it's frozen. And we don't get those opportunities too often, so I'm going to get busy.
Well, I'm gonna do something I hate doing, and that is going back to the house without a full load. It's starting to like freeze and rain or sleet or something, and it's gonna turn pretty messy here in a hurry. And I have a couple hills to go up and down with the tractor and the trailer. So uh, I'm gonna run the Ranger back now, come back, get the tractor, and call it a day. But before I do, I wanna mention something. I know there will be comments, why am I not saving this one behind me for a saw log? Three reasons, it's got red rod in it, two, it's curved, and number three, that thing was leaning its whole life. It had a severe lean to it. When you put a log like that on the mill, there's so much stress in there. As soon as you cut those boards, they just bend up like bananas. So that's why I'm not saving this for a saw log. But anyway, like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks. <laughs>